the coordinates was clo very close to the Ho Chi Minh Trail. Um, we didn't hear any of the ins and outs of, of it, just that, that we had the coordinates. Um, there was a FAC on station. Uh, a FAC is a forward air controller and um, that they had recognized or meaning that they had gotten a voice contact with each person. They were, we were told there were two people on the ground. Um, we did not know at the time that they were in different locations, but that there were two people on the ground. Um, when we got into the area, um, we were directed to one of the survivors, and, and um, he was in very high 175-foot uh, tree, triple canopy, and that was John Stiles. And um, we, we, uh, we came around over top of him, and he, he came up on the radio and told us, you just passed over me. So I marked that spot, and then we came around again. Um, and very slowly, as we picked up a hover over the trees, um, the rotor wash would open up the, the top of the trees, and I could see down to the, to the uh, forest bottom. Eventually, I did spot uh, John Stiles, and I told to, we picked up a hover and actually sank the helicopter into the top of the trees. Um, my cargo hook only, uh, my uh, rescue uh, cable only had 200 feet to it. And we were almost at that limit. So we tried to get down as quickly as we can, making sure our tail rotor was in between two trees and was close. Um, he, um, John uh, on the radio signaled to us that um, he had company. And as the trees parted, I did see a gentleman in, in black pajamas with an AK-47. And I believe I told him, I said, I'll hose him for you. He said, no, don't shoot. Um, <laughs> you might hit me. Well, I don't know why he never shot. Um, I imagine, I can only say that um, he was by himself and possibly had at one time seen what a jolly green giant with the automatic miniguns can do. <laughs> and, and he couldn't see us. I could barely see him, but I don't think he could see the size of the helicopter. And to any, to, I guess to an, to an Asian who had never been up close to one, you couldn't, it, one looked like another. So, but he didn't fire. And um, I told John, Greg, go for the hook. and, and uh, I sent a penetrator down to him on, on the cable. Um, he made a leap for it, got on it, and I covered him as he came up. So if the guy had started shooting, I would have, I'd have killed him or tried to, help, to kill him. And it um, took a while to come up that 170 feet, but eventually he, he got in. I yanked him into the uh, cabin, and we we uh, departed. 